Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing great and having a fabulous time. So today we are here to check out how to get our hands on the blood sucking crystal tear. Yes sir, it is a new one and it's from the DLC. And what does it do? Well, it enhances your attacks at the cost of HP. Well, and you use it in the well flask of wondrous physic. Where do you get it? You get it from the runes of Unte and you gotta defeat one of the furnace golems okay and this furnace golem is not alive so you got to bring the guy back to life and then put him down again and i'll be showing you how you can do it um but where are the runes of unte runes of unte are over here and i'll be showing you how to get to this spot as well but let's just talk about what you got to do you got to have one of these um hefty furnace pots um to be able to bring that furnace golem back to life and for this, you will need the Greater Potentate's um, Cookbook 2. So that's the first thing you need. Then you need Red Flesh Mushroom, Amber of Mesmer, and Furnace Visage. So you need these items. You need two of the mushrooms, two of the Amber uh, of Mesmer's, and one Furnace Visage. I'll be showing you how to get all these items. And you also need a hefty pot okay so we'll start off with where you're going to get the cookbook which is pretty easy so this is where you start off the dlc graveside play inside of grace come to the scorch ruins and then come to the rundown traveler's rest this is where you shall find the uh, greater potentates cookbook two so that's one thing done and then a hefty pot you'll find at the scorch ruins somewhere around about this area where the shadowy guys are so you just come towards the Scorch ruins and on the right side over here it'll be a body which will have a hefty pot now for the mushrooms i'm going to show you quickly you got to be at the small private altar in the Belarus tower settlement uh, you can get them from other places as well but this is just one spot so you start off from the side of grace and then you come across this guy and try to get him out of the way because he hits hard there you go he's out of the way okay so once he's done what you got to do is you got to come up these stairs i'll show you on the map about the mesmer amber and the visage is pretty easy because we are going to the ruins of unte and the plenty of um furnace visages over there so once you put these guys out of their misery that's one big shadow guy there's another one as well. So, on this body, you shall find the mushrooms. So, once you get the mushrooms, now for the Mesmer's Amber. Uh, ruins, yeah, Morth Ruins, right? And from the Morth Ruins, what you got to do is, this is the side of grace um, near Morth Ruins. And this encampment there you shall find some of mesmer the amber of mesmer yep or if you don't have or you already used the ones over here there will be some in this lake okay so this is where you're going to find those and for the uh, furnace visage there are plenty of them in this area where we shall be going because this is where that big golem guy is who we have to take down now um once you have all these items you just craft the hefty furnace pot okay and then you go to this area okay and the furnace massage can actually be taken from um if you defeated the furnace golem over here you'll get one from that but don't worry about it because we're going to the area where you shall find plenty of those okay so now how do we get to the ruins of unte i do have a detailed video showing uh, from start to finish but in this one, I'll just show you on the map initially because you got to get to the Shadow Keep. And how do you get to the Shadow Keep? Let's say starting off from the beginning. So the Graveside, Plainside of Grace, get the map fragment, come through the Scorch Ruins, Three Path Cross, cross the bridge, and then Castle Front. Now you can come through Castle Ancies. We got to fight Relana. Okay, so if you don't want to do that, when you come to Castle Front, Side of Grace, you're not going there. You're coming and not going there you're going through the middle way so through here come through the poison pits and unseal the jump spring over here with the shackle if you don't have market shackle then just come around to this spot there's a pile of rocks smash it and you 
unseal it, come to the next one, it'll take you all the way to behind the fort of reprimand, come out to the fort of reprimand, and then touch this side of grace, this is the more higher south side of grace, and then this is more ruins, and this is where I said you'll find the mesmer ambers, right? Okay, so just keep making your way and pick up the map fragment from this area for this um, yeah, for this area, the map fragments around right here. Now you can touch the high road cross side of grace, or you can just come around. And I would say come from the left because there are a lot of enemies here to reach the shadow keep main gate. Take the lift up, and that will bring you to the main gate plaza. And from here on, I shall show you how to get to the ruins of Ante. You will have to take the golden hippopotamus out. Who will be? This is the golden hippopotamus's arena and i've got a video showing how to do that and i'll share a link to that video in the description below once you do that you shall have this side of grace now you come out from this door and then we're going and making our way to the ruins of unte and that's where we'll take the golem and i'll show you what you need to do to bring him back to life okay watch out for these guys they are always ready to take us out Making our way through. They're probably still chasing us. What are we gonna do? We're just gonna try and dodge them. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so once you make your way out, watch out for the little vulgar militia guys. These guys, they're gonna try and stop you as well. So you can take them out. I'm just doing this so that we can get to our destination ASAP and show you what you need to do. Okay, no talking. Focus. Okay, so take this ladder down. And once you make your way down, we're almost there, guys. And I'll be showing you what you need to do against Mr. Furnace Golem. Yeah. Let's go down. There's going to be... Oh my god, this guy just, just doesn't give up. Okay, he's fallen to his death. He was... Well, he tried his best. <laughs> he was doing his duty properly. Okay, so you can pick up this painting. And this door will be... Well, it's a hidden door. So you got to smash this wall and it shall open. And then you're going to make your way down. And we got to travel via coffin. Yeah. So we're going to bring that guy back to life but we gotta travel in a coffin okay so i was saying it at the start of the video that you shall have plenty of furnace visages over here and there are plenty of dead um furnace golems in this area so you shall pick them up you should pick plenty of furnace visages from these guys they're all dead okay so there's some more over there. There's another guy who's going to get up. And by guy, I mean a furnace golem. So I'm not going in that direction because he's just going to get in our way. But this guy, see this guy? He's the one we got to bring back to life. And for that, we got to make our way up from here and just throw that hefty pot inside his head. And then he comes to life. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pest tread spears to get him down. I do have a, two videos actually. One is showing how to take this guy down using the pest thread spears. And the other one is showing how to take him down with a great sword uh, with the, uh, what is it? Savage Lion's Claw. Okay, so our item is, where did you go? Hefty pot. Here we go. Uh, well, no, I want to. Yeah, let's just equip it and then we can use it properly. So yeah, once you take this guy down, well, then it's all about, okay, so let's just throw it in. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pest thread spears to knock him out. Uh oh that was close just 
just go down there's no way okay, so after dying to this guy several times trying to use the pest thread spears i have well come to my mariah's executioner's sword build guys and if you don't know about this build i'll share the link to the video in the description below um, you can check it out yeah the pest thread spears work really well against his well brothers or well the types that i faced before this guy but this guy seems to be a bit stronger than the rest and well it doesn't seem to be working but this Mariah's Executioner Sword build, you shall see, it will do what you want. And it will get this guy out of the way much faster. Okay, so let's keep doing this. Stay underneath him. And just make sure you don't lose focus like I have. All right, because this guy can really, really, there we go. Keep giving him a few more. We want him to come down. Faster, harder. Oh my God, he got us. Okay, so if you have enough health, you won't die, okay? But just be careful because as soon as you come down he's gonna do that he's gonna try to get you out of the way okay and we don't want that and I'm using the charged attack because this is a charge skill keep holding the charge button down and you hear these sounds faster and then you'll see this guy's face over here and you can put him out of his misery sooner yeah, just before he gets up just keep doing this because he's gonna start jumping and I tell you these jumps are just not fun okay but stay underneath him okay at all times There we go. Stunned him again. So hopefully this time he's gonna be out of commission. There you go. So Mariah's execution sword for the win, guys. And you shall see our item. That's the one we are after. And well, furnace massage as well. But yeah, pest threat spares didn't work out for me against this guy. So I would advise this Mariah's Execution Sword build, which I shall share the link to that build video in the description below. But this is this is it for this one, guys. Until next time, happy gaming, take care, and bye-bye.